Hello adventurers, it's Sarah Gardner. I wanted to show you some of the stamps that I've made out of the foam that we're going to be using. It's really easy to cut and it's fun to create a whole slew of these. We'll be recreating a couple and then of course you can go ahead and create as many as you like. There's a difference. Some you're, you're doing small ones and some you're doing larger. So the difference maybe is that it's a stamp versus a plate. Here I have lots of different kind of leaf shapes that are more like stamps, plants and, and leaves, and maybe a rose or a flower. And then other ones are more like plates because they have a pattern on them or form a texture. So clearly the plates are bigger and the stamps are smaller. But really you can see the possibilities are pretty endless. When it comes to the foam, I um, like to have an adhesive foam to stick my shapes onto so that I don't have to glue it down. I'm going to show you how to make a couple different ones. I've just cut out some pebble shapes. So I'm going to show you how I stick those onto the foam. You've got the sticky side up. And I've cut shapes out of a piece of foam that doesn't have adhesive on one side. It's easier to cut the foam that doesn't have an adhesive on it. And then you don't have to peel off the, um, the backing on each of your shapes. But that means you have to buy two separate types of foam. It's not expensive. So maybe you want to do that. Now I have some edge here that's pretty sticky and I know it's going to get in my way so I'm just going to cut it off. Now the sticky foam is a little harder to cut. Be patient and try not to get frustrated. There you have your textured plate. Now I wanted to show you how I made this feather and it's pretty easy to do. It looks complicated but it's not. You start out just by cutting a feather shape out of your phone. 